Our opening morning session will be started by Dr. Ronald Klatz. Dr. Klatz is the co-founder of the American Academy of Anti-Aging Medicine as well as the World Academy of Anti-Aging Medicine. He is credited with actually coming up with the term anti-aging medicine and was dubbed the guru of anti-aging medicine by a cover story in Business Week magazine. He's uh, been very involved in the both the scientific as well as the media front. He just recently returned as an invited panelist at the World Economic Forum, which, as you know, is a very, very prestigious event on the aging of the, of the aging population and some of the solutions that need to be solved for as this grow, growing baby boomer population uh, increases so dramatically. And today he's going to brief you on some of the developments in the academy and how he has spent the last 20 years of his life helping to develop this very, very important field, the new specialty of anti-aging and regenerative medicine. Dr. Ronald Klatz, co-founder and president of the American Academy of Anti-Aging Medicine. Good morning. Thank you, everyone. Uh, it's my pleasure as, uh, and my honor as president to, uh, to greet you all and to welcome you to the 16th International Congress of, uh, of uh, Anti-Aging Medicine, which we're conducting right here. And it's a very large event, one of the largest events in preventive medicine in the world. And I just appreciate it very much if, if you could hold your hands up. If this is the first time you've been to a NAFRIN educational event. Can you hold your hands up? That's, that's pretty good. That's very good. Thank you very much. That's very helpful. You know, I'm always astounded by how many new physicians are joining the ranks of anti-aging medicine and how, and how, um, how effective we've been in just 16 years in reaching out to the traditional medical societies and traditional medical specialties and interesting physicians who've been in practice for 10, 20, 30 years in the new science and the new paradigm of anti-aging medicine, which really isn't very new at all. It's merely uh, a focus on, on prevention and advanced technologies for the very early detection, prevention, treatment, and or reversal of aging-related disease. And as I said it's in this greeting, it's my pleasure to welcome you in 16 short years, the AFRM has managed to change the global face of medicine. AFRM physicians are now, represented in, are now represented in 105 countries worldwide, and our new society is providing medical information and education to over 550,000 healthcare professionals around the globe. AFRM thrives because it is a clinically oriented real world practical, solutions-based medical society. We are all here, all of us, are part of the cure to a broken health care, or perhaps better said, a disease care medical system. Today, the average U.S. health care consumer is spending in excess of $7,200 per year per individual in the United States. We have the highest, most expensive, least satisfying health care system on the planet today. We have the highest dissatisfaction ratings ever recorded among both patients and physicians. It's time for a new approach, for new answers, for advanced, the advanced preventive health care system known as anti-aging medicine may in fact be a solution. We certainly feel it is. So congratulations to you all for choosing to be with us now, and thank you for choosing to be part of the new solution that we call anti-aging medicine. Dr. Goldman mentioned that I was recently, just last, just a month ago, uh, in Dubai at the summit uh, for Global Agenda 2008, part of the World Economic Forum. And it's a very prestigious organization. These are the people who um, are the think tank. These are the people who are the planners. These are the people who advise the G20 nations 
on how to run their countries, on what laws to initiate and what laws not to, and what uh, economic issues they should focus on, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, I was quite surprised because this is the bluest of the blue bloods. <laughs> this is the, uh, the establishment at its, uh, at its very core. And I was very surprised that they had reached out to the Academy of Anti-Aging Medicine looking for new answers, and they had requested me to uh, be part of their, uh, their, their summit and uh, part of their committee on gerontology. And um, at this conference, over 700 of the world's thought leaders from 60 countries were, pre were present. And most of these fellows are, you know, department heads and uh, top researchers, top authors from around the world, uh, people from Cambridge and uh, Oxford and Harvard, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You know, very high, uh, highly uh, uh, thought, uh, very highly um, recognized individuals. And again, I was, uh, I was impressed that they had, they're looking for new answers. They're desperately looking for new answers because they understand that the system is not working. The system is broken. And in order to fix it, they're going to have to um, examine the basic operating systems and aim for a functional reboot. This is their words, I'm quoting. The world needs to examine its basic operating systems and aim for a functional reboot to establish a fresh platform. And what they're saying is, is that they need to find answers. They need to, they need to change the world dramatically. They need to change the economic system. And as part of that economic system, part of the healthcare system needs to be changed. And it needs to be changed now. From that committee, hmm, okay. From that committee came many new thoughts and many interesting thoughts and uh, different ways that we could, in fact, impact on health care. And some of these um, actionable items uh, that were discussed in this committee, um, some of these, in fact, uh, directly from uh, the thoughts of uh, people here at the A4M, include point of care testing uh, by supporting and subsidizing and focusing our research on providing immediate information, immediate feedback for physicians and their patients at the point of care of the physician, biomarker measurement, metabolic testing, telemedicine physician consultation, stem cells, nanotechnology, genetic engineering is seen as the major new technologies that will have major impact in the near-term future. Uh, genetic engineering in regard to uh, diagnostics with the human genome chip and how this can impact on personalized health care so that we're not doing mass health care as we have in the past. We're not doing mass diagnostic programs, but we're looking more at the individual and customizing health care for that individual. And so these are topics that were discussed. Now, the Academy, for those of you who don't know it already, uh, it started in 1992 with just 12 physicians, and we've grown to a membership of over 22,000 physicians, scientists from over 105 countries around the world. This prestigious growth is unprecedented in the history of medicine, and we're very proud that you have chosen to be part of our future, to be part of the future of healthcare. For those of you who are looking for more information and for who are looking for uh, support and education, of course the Academy provides many educational programs including a fellowship program and a board certification program. But if you walk inside the exhibit hall, which is just on the other side of this wall, uh, as you walk in to your right will be the A4M uh, service area. It's right at the very front to the right. And at the AFRM service area are numbers of textbooks, numbers of popular books, video educational materials, information and in how to be part of the academy in a more profound way and to participate with our fellowship training and our board certification training. The academy is very proud that we are now able to actually reach out to the general public, not just to physicians and scientists around the world, and we have been very successful at that, and Dr. Goldman will tell you more about that success. But we're now providing uh, educational resources for the general public and also for the physicians in their practice. We're providing practice management.